Welcome back to the channel everyone, it's Oscar here again and today we're going to be going over my chip collection, um, I believe I'm a year and a half basically into it. So I started um, actually like seriously collecting chips, I believe it was January of like 2020, right, as the pandemic started. So um, over a year and a half, which would basically almost... Well, it would have been in July, June, but we'll do it now. Um, in in a year and a half, I think I'm now up to somewhere like 1,200 or 1,150 chips, which is uh, pretty insane to think about. Not all of them are um, singles. Obviously, there's things that I have quantity of, and um, basically, I have couple full playable sets if I really wanted to kind of try and figure something out I could easily have a full playable set um, looking at one basically right now and then another one and then um, I believe I have like three playable sets if I ever wanted to so um, enough chit chat I think we'll just go ahead and get into it um, over the past year or since the last time I did the, the last update video, I don't think I've really gotten any more singles, um, maybe a couple, but uh, not really too much. So um, let's dive right into it. So um, let me flip the mic around as well. It'll make sure that you guys can hear me. I'm going to mainly show more of the chips um, so you guys can kind of enjoy those. Okay, so getting right into it, obviously, um, these are the singles. Um, not really anything too much has changed in these two boxes as far as the singles go. Um, there's still around, I think there's like 253 or so different singles in this box and this box. And then obviously these two racks right here, there's gonna be some singles, but uh, mainly still the quantity stuff. Um, I won these awesome PCF cut cards um, when Tommy was doing a PCF giveaway, so I got two bridge size ones and two poker size ones, so those are pretty nice. Here are my new China $5 chips. Kino Queen 5 is going to be one of my favorite ones, um, alongside with the, um, here's the Moulin Rouge 1 roulette chip. And of, as far Next to those ones is going to be the Nevada Club 20. So then I got this one, this Nevada Club 5, and I got three more of those versions. Really, really like New China Clubs, so that's why I got all those. Then you guys know the story behind this bad boy. If you haven't, I've done a whole series on trying to figure out if this roulette chip is legit or not. Um, I think I ended up making like four videos about the topic, so um, I'll put a little pop-up in the top right, right here, if you want to go check it out, and I'll also link those videos down in the description, but really awesome Moulin Rouge, um, table one blue roulette chip. Then I have the Packard Bell chip that Weston gifted to me, also made some videos about this one, and then the King's Crown um, chip that um, Emilio gifted to me, also made a video about this one. Those are near and dear to my heart. Then a Bourbon Street 25. The Bourbon Street 100 is the only one I need to do to get the full complete set. And then I just have a Bellagio 20, Bellagio 3, Bally's 4, and Sahara 4 that were gifted from Mr. Brian Kafer. And then I have the whole Riverside um, basically Riverside sample set that was gifted to me by Matt, which was really awesome I wasn't expecting that when he sent me that one day and Then we'll go ahead and get into the quantity stuff. So Same thing here with this rack. I don't think much has changed um, With this rack the spark silver clubs are still here. Jerry's nuggets are still here Joe's 25 centers are still here. Joe's uh, There's those there's Joe's ones are still here I've gained a few more of these new Chinas. Um, I guess we'll take this one out. So, so new China 50 centers. I have a few of these Money Tree 50 centers. Then a couple of these Money Tree 25s. A single Sahara Tahoe 1. 
Still have these um, blackjack dealing school chips. And then the palace clubs, of course. And then still the couple king's crown ones. So nothing much has changed there. Claim stake five, still a couple of those. Desert Inn one, still a couple of those. Horseshoe 25s, Derby Grand 25s. These are Arizona Charlie 50 centers. Um, these are gonna be Casablanca 50 centers. A couple Mirage threes and a couple Bellagio fives. So that's that rack. Let me get this back in here. Um, then I went ahead, I got a couple of these nice Samstown ones. Um, this is basically like a bunch of random stuff that I picked up alongside with um, gifted chips from Mika when I was in Finland and um, these awesome new China card mold chips that I just got gifted from Dan. So that was really, really awesome. Those super cool artwork on them and uh, they're really unique chips. I, I was really surprised by them when I got them. So um, really happy with those. Then I have the Bourbon Street 5s there, Nevada Lodge 5s, Sands 1s, and a couple, oh, there's a Showboat 50 Center. I'll show those. So Western Club 1, I got this from Tom. Bought that from him. No, god dang it, whatever. Uh, Showboat 50 Center, got this one, bought that one from Tom as well. Um, Tropicana 100 NCV Money Clip Chip. Souvenir TRK and Co. Really like this one. Bought this one from Tom too. Um, Reno Card Room 5 Center. Satan Sports Spa Chips. And then this really, really awesome chip that I saw on eBay. It's got the Finnish flag on it. And it's from the Grand Forks. Uh, it was a convention they had going on. So I guess somebody had a pulse and made with the finished flag on it. So that was pretty awesome. That's those bad boys. Go ahead and get those back in there. Then, uh, <clears throat> if you guys know me, I recently picked up this El Camino 5. Um, it's a little bit of a darker blue as it shows on camera, but really, really, really nice looking chip. Really like this. Um, trying to find more of these. So if you have one, um, I would be interested in it. Then I recently also picked up, I believe this is an almost complete set of these. I think I'm only missing like one, but these are the uh, Horseshoe Poker Hall of Fame oversized inverse hat and cane $5 chips from Binion's Horseshoe that was located here in Vegas. Then I got a couple of these King's Crown Hundreds. Obviously, you guys know me, the, most of the stuff I have is going to be TRK, so that's why you see King's Crown, King's Crown 25, and then I have the World Trade Center 25, 5, and 1 that I got from Miko. And the, this chip has a funny story behind it. My aunt in Finland, Arya, um, had this from when she visited Vegas back in the early 2000s, so that was really awesome to find that when I was there as well. So cool stuff there. Um, go. I'll put those aside there for now. And then these are the other chips that you guys saw. The PCF Poker Surprise from Finland um, from Mik as well. So those will go there. Then obviously we have the TRK Quarry stuff. We have the Hotel Blues. I think I had a hundred, a little more than a hundred or a hundred and fifty or so of those. The MM chips the ones that I got gifted from Krish. And then alongside there were a couple of these MBE white uh, small crown chips. The turquoise MM chips. And then the more so salmon MM chips. And then the two racks of round tent cafe TRK chips that still need to be washed. But uh, I'll probably end up washing those here in the next coming week. Because I think they're going to be able to get some action here pretty soon. So um, that should be really cool. Then, um, we have the Resorts World chips that I showed you guys when I first got them. The Barrel of Ones here, and then the 
20, the two tens, the five, and then I also ended up getting one of the two dollar chips. Um, all mint condition, obviously. Got them, I believe it was the day after or a couple days after that the Resorts World opened up. So that's those bad boys there. Then, um, let's move some stuff over. I'll put these up here. Put those up there. Then, these things right here. These are the uh, T-Mold um, Illegal Casino. I believe it was from can't remember was it the terrace club or some other place i'll put the i'll put the place on the screen because i can't remember right now but this was the rack of ten dollar illegal um i believe they were from illinois the terrace club or um like i said i'll have to put the place on the screen but this was the rack of those that i have really 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 nice condition i don't really think these were really used at all and um i don't know these illegal casino chips they're they're starting to grow on me so uh, you might be seeing more of these here in the future so just a little hint hint on those but really 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 nice colors on these and i um i want to do some research more about these uh, illegal places because there's a lot of them and the chips are usually really cool then um, we got some of my newest acquisitions. If you guys don't um, follow me or kind of see stuff I post on PCF, these are going to be the Desert Sands Cabazone Zone chips that I recently just got. Um, Hat and Cane Pulse and Ones. Most of them really don't have any um, hot stamp on them. They're pretty um, kind of worn, but edges on them are uh, kind of... Uh, I was surprised by the edges. The edges on them are pretty nice. So, got those. Then, um, these $3 chips are Christian Jones. So, most of them are really nice shape. There's the Desert Sands Cava Zone. And then on the back side, you have a $3. If, I, if I'm understanding, these are, these are Christian Jones. Because they have a different sound than compared to the... Um, the ones that are the hat and cane so they have a little bit more of a a click a clickier sound them if that makes sense if 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 i'm understanding correct they're the christian jones because they do have the shiny hats um so but if anybody has a little bit more information and can can uh double check on that for me that'd be really cool so that's the three dollars then i almost have a whole complete rack of the trk ones uh, most of them are in pretty nice and excellent condition um, there's a couple of used ones like this one pretty used but uh a majority of them are really nice and sharp just like this one where they got the full stamp you can kind of see the imprint of the stamp um, pretty well and yeah, most of them are pretty nice. I really enjoy these chips. So, I basically have a full set of playable Desert Sands Cup of Zone chips, which really, really enjoy. Then, um, let's move over here a little bit. These are going to be, let's see, this one here is um, Desert Sand Cup of Zone 5s. I almost have a full rack of really nice condition ones. Um, and then I do end up having, I believe, three, I think three barrels of these uh, used and canceled ones, which were a gift from Joey on PCF. So that was really nice of him. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the, the rack of those. So almost a whole rack of really nice ones. And then three barrels of the used and canceled ones, which I don't mind. They'll probably end up getting used someday. Then... Um, I have these Beepo 1920 chips that were gifted to me by Ron. These white ones are five centers. I ended up cleaning um, a good part of them just because they were pretty dirty, but uh, they cleaned up really nice. And um, I'm, I, I, if I do the breakdowns correctly of those Beepo chips, I should have a playable set of those. So that's the one box of those. Then we got those ones there. 
then how would I organize this? I guess we could do that. So then we have these ones. These are going to be um, the fives. So B Pro 1920. These are the five dollar um, yellow chips. These cleaned up relatively nicely as well. I was pretty surprised by them. Um, still have. I think there's still a few chips that I need to clean. Like this one, it still needs to be cleaned. But uh, overall, they're nice condition. Then the 25 center chips, I cleaned all of these. These turned out really amazing. Um, they did bleed a little bit, but most of the hot stamps still there and overall really, really clean chips. So 25 centers, Bpo 1920, those are really nice. Then he also gifted me some of these um, Paulson chips that are really nice mint condition. They're kind of NCV Paulsons. They're different ones. There's one fives, 25s. And then his business chip as well, Mr. Ron Gadet. Really appreciate everything he's done for me and all the support he shows. Then we have the two different versions of the ones. So there's this kind of lighter blue one. It has one dollar in the back side. And then there are these um, darker blue ones. That same thing, just Bepo 1920 and one dollar chip as well. So that's that box, and then in this box we have a rack of these Bepo 1920 10 centers on the at least square square rectangle chips, if I'm understanding correctly. Um, but really nice. These are all basically really really nice condition, and I'd say brand new. I don't think these ever got used. Um, but um, as far as that, that's all the chips. I now have, oh yeah, these, I forgot to show you, these, uh, those illegal chips came in their own tailor-made um, original box, so that's really cool, and then I also have these two cases here, so, yeah, that's going to be all the chips, there's quite a lot of them, and um, I wasn't expecting the uh, growth to be this rapid, but... Um, I guess it went ahead and happened how it did, and that explains why I am where I am. So, overall, really, really nice stuff that I've got. I got some more things on the way, and the collection just, it just keeps growing. So, so as I was saying, the collection just keeps growing. Um, I've really been enjoying it, seriously, and there's uh, cool stuff, so thing that I really enjoy about this stuff, you kind of get them, you learn the history about the places, you share it, and along them, like recently I just did that leaded versus non-leaded casino chip video, um, there was probably a lot of people that didn't know that the that there was a difference between leaded and non-leaded chips, that they used to use them more so back in the day, and after 2006, 2008-ish, there hasn't really been any lead inside casino chips. Um, for health reasons and just overall they basically stopped using it um, But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can learn through this stuff a lot of stuff that I keep learning every day a lot of stuff um, That I'm sure that people have been in this stuff kind of for a long time probably longer than I've been born um, They're constantly learning about these places. They have chips about from the casino history videos um, from me posting on PCF on the chipboard in the Facebook group and uh, everywhere so just wanted to thank you guys for everything um, hopefully you guys enjoy my kind of year and a half um, chip collection update video and I don't know if there's something that kind of that you saw and kind of piqued your interest put that down in the comments um, if you have anything in similarity or or something that you have that I have um, put that in the comments below because it's awesome to see um, people that have the same type of stuff and uh, yeah Hopefully, um, collection will keep growing, we'll keep pumping out these YouTube videos and keep having fun, which is the main point. So, just want to say thank you guys again for everything that you do for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below. If you have any comments, put those down below as well. And if you're new here, uh, please consider subscribing. While you're doing that, also share this video with your friends, spread it around, and uh, we can make this community just bigger and bigger and bigger and just have some more fun. So, big thanks again. For watching the video and it's been oscar and i'll see you guys in the next one peace